here we are at Winter Heights uh, full play. This is a, a subdivision that has duplexes and townhomes, which are fourplexes. And uh, as you enter Windsor Heights, you run into the uh, Calabra Number no. Eight Supermarket Meat Market is what it is. So as we uh, this this street here is Walsham, that direction you would run into Gibbs Brawl. So let's take a drive around the subdivision. I'll talk about it as best I can to give anyone that hasn't is not familiar with the area an idea. This unit here is owned by my investor. He owns this unit and the three units next to it. Okay, uh, that one is for rent and also it's about two units. No, three of those units are for rent. That's a fourplex townhome style. So I'm gonna make a right turn and then I'm gonna come back in the direction. Let me get something to point with. Make a right turn. I'm gonna make a right turn so you can get an idea of these units. This unit is on uh, reference 6704, and this this as when I turned, I turned on Windsor Hollow. Okay, the owner, uh, out of area owner, owns this unit. There's no units available in this one. He also owns this one, and we are doing construction on this one here, he owns that one also. Okay, let's swing around. Let me give you an idea what the neighborhood looks like. Let me swing my camera around for you. Now this particular neighborhood is not the worst neighborhood in San Antonio and it's definitely not the best neighborhood. Now these are these are duplexes. These duplexes are newer, uh, but they're smaller units than what you see in the uh, the townhomes. Townhomes here are running about between eight hundred and nine hundred and fifty dollars a month, according on the condition. And uh, these are a little bit cheaper to rent for the duplexes car behind me. I'm going to go ahead and let him go by. Okay. And as we drive through, um, got to take a look. There's a vacant lot on this side. I, is, is there a building there? There's a couple of buildings in here that kind of not, I think that block's always been vacant. But that, that uh, unit I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't like the, the rear of the subdivision as much as I do the, uh, the front of it. But anyway, you can see an idea, because one unit here was, there was a unit right here to my right. Uh, you can see the foundation of it, but it burned down at one time. Okay, so they, they never rebuild it, and that's what you got. Now, as we go down through here, we're going to make a left turn, come around in a circle. This will take you back out to Walls. Okay. We got kids out playing. We got you. Now, the owner of the three units up front, he also owns a unit. Once we get through rehabbing those units up front, he owns this last unit here to my left. It's in need of shape. I think in a minute, Every unit here is going to be vacant. Three are vacant now, and uh, we got some. We got need some roof. We need a roof on this house, on this uh, fourplex. And the thing that we got to figure out with the other owners in this complex, there was a two fourplexes here that burned down on the right here. That you're looking. Here's the problem. Uh, people that don't live in the area, contractors. I blame it on them mostly. People that are working on other people's stuff. They come here in the evening and they dump their stuff. Not good. Not a good thing to do. But I want, I, I'm trying to give you everything I know about the area so you know uh, when you come through what you're dealing with. But we are, they're trying now to, to figure out how they... You can't go on there and, and put a fence up because 
other people own this land and you can't the people that own the land I think they don't care so we're kind of at, at a standstill on this but anyways right next to that is another unit this type of unit here that one of those is boarded up but I think they uh, they're pretty nice inside the an idea swing it over to this side Here's one that's boarded up. Somebody owns it, but they never, it's been boarded up for a while. But it, there's only about three, two, three buildings in here, the whole subdivision, that's not in operation. subject property of the one that we we're renting out as you go through. See that that's Walsham up top, well in front of me. The back of the meat market, if you didn't see it before, there's a nice big grassy field right there. Okay everybody, I, I think I gave you the tour of the neighborhood. Uh, you make your own decisions. Uh, one thing I can say, that at that price point here in San Antonio, uh, even in some questionable neighborhoods, a single family residence, uh, there's hardly nothing available, even at $1,000 a month for a three bedroom, two bath, single family house. Uh, that's just almost non-existent. So if you wanna keep your, um, if you're looking, if you're trying to keep your budget between 850 and let's say 950, I think this is a great deal. So call me if you got any questions. Uh, you can reach me, Ellis Washington, at 210-393-3115. That's my cell number. And uh, we can talk further or I can answer any questions that you may have. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.